Hey guys, this is Jack, and today I've got a cloning tutorial in After Effects. Uh, you need After Effects CS5 to do this one, because we're going to be using the Roto Brush. If you're in an earlier version of After Effects, you can just rotoscope using the regular pen tool, but it's going to take much longer than the way I'm going to do it. So this is the final result that I came up with. Not the best, but... Whoa, I just realized there was that big line there. To be feathered. All right, now here's my final results. <laughs> that sounded pretty dumb. Oh, there's the big mask. You can see that looks pretty good. I didn't bother with any of the muzzle flashes or anything. Whoa, I just opened from here. Force clip. Okay, so. I'm gonna take my footage and drop it into a new comp. I might try. I might uh, upload that online so you can uh, edit this. I'll try that. It doesn't work. I'm sorry. But all right. Anyway, I want this one to be on top, and we're gonna move this over to the right so it lines up. And there's a bit of delay for when the other guy runs in. So we have that. Now what we need to do. We need to rotoscope this. We're going to be using the roto brush. So, make sure you're on the top one. Hit layer. Uh, whoa. Just happened. There we go. There we go. Okay, I got this now. That was a bad. I did something wrong well, earlier. Take of this. But anyway, what we're going to do, you're going to click and drag on there so it selects him. Then we want to get the shadow too. So, get all that stuff. Actually. Okay, and then you're going to hold Alt, get that little thing, and then just sort of draw around for the stuff we don't want. Didn't do anything, but it will help. Trust me, it will. Alright, then let's move the brush down so we can get that the gun. That's good. You can turn this back up now. And now what we are going to do, we are just going to hit play. All right, that's all we need to 110. Okay, so there we go. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim this to there. Trim it to 110. Oh, I got it exactly right. Imagine that. But now we're gonna need to duplicate this. Put it on. Put it on the bottom. Right, extend it back out. Alright, then hit E and delete the roto brush. So now if we go into composition. You'll see we've got that. And then the roto brush thing kicks in. And then you can see the other one run behind. Then he disappears. And because of that, we are going to need or first I'm gonna fix up some stuff in the roto brush so let's go into here what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna move up the choke so you sort of eliminate those edges move up the feather so now you see here maybe a bit more choke it's probably good that's okay alright now we need now we need to click on this and make a square mask. Just get it right in between. And hit subtract. Oh my god. Move forward a couple frames. Oops. Shift. Move this to there. Make sure it's Oh, I forgot something. Just realized. Um Move this back. There we go. Hit uh, M and keyframe the mask path. Now we can do what we were wanting to do. Dang it. Oh, crap. I just remembered something. I'm sorry. I do not know this very well. 
we're going to have to do, we're going to have to take this and duplicate it. And now we need to move this one to here, this one to here, and this is the one that we use the mask on. <laughs> Even though I did like five takes of this earlier, I still can't get it right. Alright, subtract, there we go. Uh, M, keyframe mask path, move forward, uh, pen tool, or mouse tool. There we go. Now let's just move it about to there. And then hit F and feather it a bunch, doesn't matter how much, just to uh, hide the edge of it. You can mess around with those tools, with the um, stuff in the roto brush to get the, the look you need. But now we are good. Let's RAM preview this. I don't like the sound, I don't need it. Now we've got a pretty convincing cloning effect. We've got CS4 earlier. Unfortunately, you will have to use the pen tool and rotoscope it out me uh, manually. Yeah, it really sucks. I, tr I was going to do that first, but then I realized, wait a second, I got the roto brush. And it went way faster. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please uh, like it if you liked it. Um, and favorite it and comment and subscribe. Goodbye.